ऑल राइट लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम टू सप्तऋषि एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वी हैव विद अस वेंकट रमन जी एंड इट्स नाइस टू हैव यू वेंकट रमन जी नमस्ते वेलकम थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो व्हाट वी गोना हैव ओके इज टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट महाशिवरात्रि वी गोना टॉक अबाउट व्हाट कैन बी डन इन काशी during mahashivratri if you are there if you are lucky if you are not you can you still have two days to go over there okay and uh, at the same time if you can't make it okay what can be done at home and also the puja that we are conducting in manikarnika ghat the one of the most famous ghats in uh, kashi and also at the same time if you are planning a short trip in the future what you should definitely do apart from kashi vishwanath temple what like if you are there for only a day and you have 2 3 hours only what you should do and at the same time if you are a regular visitor to kashi you know what you should do uh what you might have missed you know and of course uh, as they say there is uh, the famous uh, ganpati temple that one needs to visit before starting the kashi yatra and bhairav temple all those things uh, venkat raman ji would uh, say so all yours venkat raman ji is during this mahashivratri what is to be done at kashi ah uh, sunil ji thanks for uh, hosting this meeting and uh, we have been discussing about uh, mahashivratri let me just uh, tell you one thing Shivratri happens every month. That is one night before Amavasya. That is the Chaturdashi day, the Krishna Paksha. That is the monthly Shivratri, and the Shivratri occurring uh, in the month of Falgun is called Mahashivratri. So generally, people say Shivratri. That means they mean that uh, that comes which uh, in February or March. So that is clarified now, and uh, it happens in Krishna Paksha. Uh, this particular year. 18th of February 2023. Why this Mahashivratri is very very important because there are combination of three important events or uh, three important days. Number one, it is Shani uh, Saturday, Shani Var, combining with Pradosham, and also the same evening happens to combine with Mahashivratri. This combination is occurring probably after 20 years. it's a very rare combination this uh, saturday plus pradosham this combination occurs hardly about once or twice a year and uh, pradosham and normal shivratri may combine it also may combine once in a year or so but this mahashivratri the shivratri occurring in falgun month plus saturday plus pradosham it's a very rare combination so we are lucky to be discussing about this particular combination in this meeting number 1 number 2 on all pradosham days uh, it is very important to do prayers for uh, lord shiva and uh, we have been doing this uh, rudrabhishekam in several temples in kashi of course it's not possible for the uh, puja to be done in the main kashi vishwanath temple because of the huge crowd and all even if you book a ticket for uh, this uh, rudrabhishekam uh, you may get hardly a few minutes or few seconds but uh, the lagu rudrabhishekam takes about uh, nearly one and a half hours after sangalpa mam detail rudra bishagam with all the ingredients like curd ghee and all that it may take about one and a half hours so with that expectation if you go to the main temple and you get only a few minutes people may not be satisfied and uh, what we are doing is we are doing this uh, regular uh, pradosha rudra bishagam in manikarnika kshetra in one of the very important temples manikarnika means people generally believe it is manikarnika ghat but as per kashikand it's a very wide area from a midpoint about half kilometer radius the entire kshetra is called manikarnika and the ghat is the only that portion which comes near the river ganga so all those temples which are in the kshetra of manikarnika the geographical area of manikarnika with a half kilometer radius so any prayers done they yield multiple multiple benefits now for example Uh, there is a shloka in kashikan chapter 61 which reads as jabatvai kamapi gayatrim 
संप्राप्य मणिकर्णिका लभेद युत गायत्री जबन से फलम स्फुट मीनिंग रिसेटिंग वन गायत्री इन मणिकर्णिका इन काशी will yield punya benefits of reciting 10000 gayatris so the importance of manikarnika has been mentioned in kashigan in several places so this year even the normal shivratri days our group of people they do the night long puja in several shiva temples in kashi so each group does the puja in different temples and after about 1 1 pm in the night or rather 1 am in the night they assemble and they go and worship at all the main shiva temples numbering maybe 13 or 14 so this whole process takes whole night right from 10:30 to morning 6:30 or so so remaining awake during uh, shivaratri for shiva puja is considered very very auspicious and all the more reason for maha shivaratri uh, during maha shivaratri if a person visits uh, varanasi there is a very very huge crowd and he may have to stand in the line for 6 or 7 hours to get a darshan of kashi vishnu temple so there is a very huge crowd and people consider it very very important so what we advise people is you spend one more day in kashi if you are coming for mahashivaratri spend one more day and you can have darshan at uh, various uh, shivlings installed by various planets like navagraha planets then you can have the darshan of dwadash jyotirlinga and various other temples also and there are several shakti peeths in kashi and you can combine the worship of all those temples so in this year uh, due to the initiative of subsurishya sashology one grand puja is going to take place in manokameshwar shiva temple which is on the spot of manikarnika just few steps away from manikarnika ghat and there will be a sankalp uh, maha sankalp then this uh, detailed rudra abhishekam then uh, gayatri japam with uh, villopartha archana in that shivling during night time so all this are being planned and uh, very rightly said so because uh, it happened all of a sudden and uh, in the next years also if you are doing that we can plan it accordingly one month in advance we can uh, think of various other things also now uh, sunil ji i'll come to the point number 2 uh, if a person wants to visit kashi uh, yeah. from anywhere what i would suggest is he may have his own schedule he may have thought of his own schedule but let him have at least one full day extra in that one full day extra he can uh, have two yatras and especially after uh, the video recording of subsurishya uh, went viral which is the title mission man of kashi i can say at least tens of thousands of people have come to kashi and almost all of them have undertaken this uh, navagra yatra so the devotees coming are not only restricted to india but even from abro- abroad also london and us and all other places they have come so they undertake the navagra yatra that is yatra of uh, shivlings installed by the navagras surya chandra and mangal and all and uh, they have come here for specific uh, uh, remedial measures puja also regarding their planets and horoscopic studies what are uh, drawbacks they are facing so even uh, that has benefited them so i advise people if they are coming uh, they may have one full day extra for uh, this uh, uh, rituals and uh, they can have if they want to do any special rituals they can uh, we can arrange through the panditji of the temple also or the freelance panditjis and if they want to do their own prayers i can advise them uh, whatever gayatri rudra gayatri and all they can do it so the entire process may take about 4 or 5 hours they can do it once in the morning and once in the evening break up also 2 to 2 hours in the morning session evening session also and recently also one gentleman from canada had come uh, he could meet me only with a few hours at his disposal i told him are bhai aap zara sa samay leke aaiye and he has agreed to come once again to kashi at least with 2 days to spare for all this and uh, uh, what else uh, sunil ji i Are would you... like to uh. i would like to ask you know uh, mm. rare places in kashi which most people don't know about and they need to do it they need to visit i mean okay. if i like i have visited six seven times kashi in the mm. last 15 years mm. but more than that in fact mm. and uh, gone with groups you know mm. etc and all that mm. and uh, i still feel there is 
thousand things to explore in Kashi. Okay. I'm told now the management at most temples have improved. Uh, you know, it's not like the previous times. You know, I'm told, I mean, recently a friend of mine went over there. He said it's not like the previous times, you know, where uh, things were a bit difficult and haphazard, etc. Not, not so organized. So, which are those areas which are very rare and yeah. most people most people miss? Yeah, uh, you are uh, you're a question is very apt. Uh, along with the Nagra Yatra, I uh, advise people to undertake the Shakti Peet Yatra because in Kashikan chapter 79 mentions various Shakti Peets in Kashi. And uh, it, it, it's a coincidence or a divine thing, uh, you may uh, uh, name it. All those uh, shivlings installed by various planets like uh, sun, moon and all, they are all inside one Shakti Peet or the other. Like sun uh, Gavasti Shwari is inside Mangalagauri Shakti Peet. Moon is in Siddheshwari Shakti Beit and Mars and all they are in uh, Panjamudra Mahapit like that. In in addition to that, there are several Shakti Pits like Virija Pit, Mahapit, Keshava Pit, Kritivasa Pit. And uh, for example, uh, Kritivaseshwar, if you do the puja of Kritivaseshwar Shivaling, it is near Mrtanja Mahadev Temple. Uh, that is equivalent to performing seven crore Mahadudra Japam. So even doing one, one Mahadudra Japam, it take, uh, takes about 11 days. So the importance is, uh, you cannot just imagine. So I advise people uh, to undertake this Navagra Yatra and Shakti Pita Yatra. It's almost nearby only. Suppose you go to that uh, Gabasti Shur temple, you are already, already worshipping that uh, Mangala Gauri. It's in the same premises, same room. So many of the Shakti Pita also get covered in that. And uh, if you undertake this Dwada Jyoti Langa Yatra, there also you cover some Shakti Peets also. And uh, uh, Kashi Vishnu temple ha happens in both the Yatras because uh, Shadi Shorling is inside Kashi Vishnu temple. So if you undertake the Navagra Yatra, you are already inside Kashi Vishnu temple. So there is a part of the deal. So once you undertake these Yatras, you are not only covering these temples, but also the other deities inside those temples. So if you do both these, you may be covering about 30 or 40 places within one day. And if you have uh, some guide with you, that means that uh, my devotees uh, who have been trained in this, uh, they are Brahmins, they are Pandits, they know the mantras also. So they will help you doing uh, yourself doing the puja and all. And uh, on the safe side, I may say you have two days because uh, the people generally feel tired also. And uh, so it's advisable to have one day extra. So you could, can make it two days. And if a person has if a person has got some rituals for his forefathers to be performed, it is advisable to come during the Pitra Paksha, that is 15 days before Navaratri. So Pitra Paksha, you do the rituals for your forefathers first, then you start the Yatras. So all these things can be combined in one trip. Okay. Can I uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. That particular temple, hmm. can you repeat it again? And uh, which, you know, seven uh, crore rudras, yeah, uh, if you what exactly? Where is that temple? And when I give you the temple and get the address yeah. uh, and post it in the chat box. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it is uh, in Kriti Vaseshwar temple. Uh, that is uh, in the vicinity of uh, uh, this uh, Kalbero temple. In the vicinity of Kalbero temple, Kriti Vaseshwar temple, Kriti Vaseshwar. And uh, this important was this temple is mentioned not only in Kashikan, but in other Puranas also, like Vishnu Puran, like uh, Brahma Vavar Puran, and all those Purans it is mentioned. And uh, that temple is located just next to Mahamrutanja temple. So people who can uh, who come to Kalabairav, it's hardly about five minutes from there, they'll go to Mahamrutanja temple. And this Kritivasya temple is just outside Mahamrutanja temple. So people okay. can combine the worship of that. And uh, I generally advise people to have this uh, Shakti Pita Yatra also. So that can be done. And please, uh, Om Kareshwar Temple. Yeah, yeah, carry on. What is the uh, Kriti Kareshwar Temple? Kriti, if I visit. Kriti Vaseshwar. I'll just type it here. When I did you get the address, Kriti. Yes, sir. I'm just. Okay. I it just posted is, in the chat section. Yeah, it is given uh, in my website also. And in my, in my website, I have given all the link of uh, various YouTube video also. So okay. that also you can uh, check up. All right. So what is to be done? I mean, if I'm visiting over there, anything special I need to do? Or even if I don't do anything special, 
क्या कर सकते हैं हम वॉट कैन बीज पंडित ही विल डू दिस रुद्राभिषेकम फॉर यू एंड इफ यू डोंट Uh, want to engage anybody? You can do your own prayers. You can buy this willow patram from this uh, market. Willow patra leaves. You can take uh, Ganga jal. You can do your own uh, abhishek, and you can do your own uh, this. Rudra abhishek. Willow patra. How much? Normally, the Pandit ji will charge normally. Between two to two thousand five hundred rupees. Okay. With with all the ingredients and the dakshina and all that. That will be performed right in the temple, or yeah, yeah, right in the shivling. You will be sitting there. Okay, so you you can get the pandit over there at the temple. Uh, we have to go and yeah, yeah, you can get over there also. The or the temple there, for there, it, or there are many uh, many freelance pandits also. So okay. they will go there and uh, they will pay some uh, nominal fees to the temple pandit. I can uh, they can do it. Those who are not uh, very much close to other freelance pandits, they generally approach the temple. The temple pandit arranges uh, arranges the uh, all the other things. So in in our case, what we do is there are very small temples where the temple, the person attached to the temple may not be so uh, educated in this uh, karma kant. So our group of people do go and do the puja. They pay some nominal fees to that uh, local pandit man, and uh, because uh, the pandit may not be so well versed in this karma kant. What what is the benefit? Can you repeat it again for you know some people have joined in late. What is the benefit? What is mentioned in Kashi Kant? If you do this, this, then what is the benefit for Sri Kriti Vaseshwar Mahadev? Just a minute, na, huh? just a minute. Kriti Vaseshwar Mahar Mahadev Temple. Uh, just a minute, na. Huh? Sure. Meanwhile, I'll just share for everybody. Uh, you know, this 18th February 2023, we are performing Rudra Bishak by seven Varanasi Pandits. And uh, the fees is only two thousand five hundred. Below this video, a link will be pasted, and uh, or uh, when I can paste it right now, or you can call up on nine eight one double nine five triple seven nine, and this you can do it for your whole family. Okay, you have to do sankalpa. The sankalpa will be done few hours before the puja on eighteenth of February. Three okay. thirty, three thirty p.m. We will start the sankalpa. So you got to be present, and if possible, fast on that day to get more and more benefits. You know, and uh, people who are joining, they should share their gotram and names. Yes, yes, you know, and uh, quickly, I'll just add uh, this thing. You know, just for education, you know, of course, I've discussed this with Vinayak. You know, what is the benefit? Of one pandit versus seven pandits, is there like it multiplies uh, the thing? I mean, what exactly is it? Uh, uh, no, first uh, let me the, uh, quote the Kritivasaishar Mahatmya from Kashi Gand. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Kashi Gand uh, chapter sixty eight mentions Sapta Koti Maharudraihi Sujaptyair Yatphalam Bhavet Tatphalam Labhyate Kashyam Pujanat Kritivasa Saha, performing puja of Kritivaseshwar in Kashi will yield punya of reciting seven crore Maharudrams. Now, let me tell you what is Maharudram. Chanting one Rudram may take about uh, 18 minutes in a normal speed. And in a very high speed, you may reduce to about 15 minutes. So, it doesn't make sense in reducing the speed. And... If you chant the rudram eleven times, it is eka dasha rudram eleven times. If eleven multiplied by eleven, that is one twenty one times. If the rudram is chanted, that is called maha rudram. So if eleven pandits do the rudram eleven times, they make it one maha rudram. So you can consider the magnitude of this maha rudram. So Kashi Kant says, if you do the puja of Kriti Vaseshwar, you get the punya of reciting seven crore Maharudrams. Can you imagine seven crore wow. into into one twenty one? So obviously this temple has a very strong power, and I have advised people, my devotees, my shishyas, they go there daily and light one lamp in front of that uh, temple, and uh, the devotee's life has changed. On, I cannot <laughs> explain in detail here in this uh, uh, meeting, so uh, it doesn't need further description. 
So that is one thing. And uh, what was your query, sir? Just before no, that. I, I mean, this is something uh, Vinayak and Venkat Raman ji. Mm. Our next goal should be to select an auspicious mohurat mm. for this Mahashivratri. Mm. You know, and, uh, we should do something about uh, like a puja. Mm. I mean, because I know I can't travel. You know, mm. so if I can't travel, I mean that's what my goal in life has been to travel, and I did my lot of lot of traveling in my lifetime. Mm. Now. you know i won't be able to travel that much so how do i benefit is through you know, organizing pujas like how you are helping us do at manikarnika ghat okay and uh, this should be the next kriti vasheshwar temple now my query was mm. on manikarnika ghat on 18th february okay mm. Mm. we are using uh, five to seven pandits you know so mm. is there benefit or why not just one pandit i mean what's the because vinayak also comes from a brahmin family and mm -hmm. a family in, uh, that is uh, very his father has been uh, very much involved uh, you know in all these movements you know so what is your view on what is vinayak's view i mean both can have different views it's fine with me you know so what's your view sir no, what's the advantage that is, is an advantage it is always advisable to have more pandits reciting the mantras because uh, that resonates uh, uh, instead of having one person it's advisable to have more persons because uh, as you rightly said uh, there are so many people uh, who want to take several prayers and pujas for different purposes uh, like this one lady from london who frequently uh, engages for prayers for good health in one of the temples so i engage generally five pandits for doing the uh, main pujas there is one main pandit plus uh, four assisting pandits they recite the uh, suri gayatri japam and all that so more the people more the benefits the, that is my experience okay when i watch your this thing because you come from your father is a very illustrious figure famous figure so when i so the number of pandits like uh, guru ji also told that like, uh, in rudra bishay we have ekadasha rudra bishay like 11 pandits to 121 pandits to so it's all about the magnitude and the number of chanting to be repeated okay so like uh, 11 pandits are chanting so okay, so why 11 pandits because the number of mantras are also mentioned for that particular puja na so it is not possible to chant only one pandit okay so obviously we need to uh, make it seven pandits 11 pandits or 121 pandits like this depend it depends upon the number of repetition how how much repetition we are making for that uh, Uh, either we we can do rudram or rudra shtadhyay correct by by doing this we are making a pishekam okay so if we increase the number of pandits obviously the repetition will also increase and by this mean we can also we can assume you know, like magnitude the magnitude of that whole mantra it will also increase energy will increase so we will get more benefits out of it okay okay thank so you thank you sir. so okay. uh, so this time we are uh, i think we are we are doing with the five pandits and two more pandits additional uh, for uh, rudra gayatri okay total okay. we have seven pandits okay so the gayatris which gayatris are we doing uh, i have sent him uh, this rudra gayatri then durga gayatri then mm -hmm. lakshmi gayatri uh, and vishnu gayatri and also the regular normal gayatri om bhurbho swa Hmm. So every deity has got a different Gayatri. Every Gra has got a Gayatri. So these main five Gayatris, I have uh, insisted that uh, more uh, focus on Rudra Gayatri because Lord Shiva likes Rudra Gayatri the most. Fantastic. So as per Kashi Kal chapter sixteen, hmm. uh, is that if you recite a Gayatri, it's equivalent to at Mani Karni ka Ghat. It's yeah. equal ten thousand Gayatris. Quickly, ten, I was about ten thousand Gayatris. Ten thousand Gayatris. Yeah. So, quick. I was reading about Manikarnika Ghat. Mm. Now there are two stories to it. One is uh, after Lord Shiva and uh, Parvati Mata or Sat, they took bath mm. in Manikarnika Ghat mm. area. Mm. Mm. Mani, which is uh, the what do you call the Kan ka Bali? Yeah, what Mani jewel. Mm -hmm. The earring fell from Lord Shiva's. Here is mm. one story. Mm. Other story 
which mm-hmm. i read at wikipedia okay mm-hmm. is uh, that uh, when lord shiva took the body of sati you know mm-hmm. and uh, at that time lord vishnu used his uh, sudarshan chakra to cut the pieces uh, to cut the body into different pieces you know and at that time the money from uh, sati uh, fell down in this area so which one people normally believe to be more no, authentic I, actually both are different uh, issues altogether uh, this manikarnika tirth in kashi uh, as per the kashi khand Uh, during the time of mahapralay in satyu only that portion of land remained all the other land became submerged in water the total destruction all over so that piece of land which remained above the water is the panchakrosha kashi kshetra uh, so from the center point if you have a radius of about 15 kilometers that area of land is called the panchakrosha kashi kshetra even now that is demarcated by a, a road called panchakrosha road so you will find the road in several places in kashi so you may be wondering are bhai yaha bhi wohi road hai wahan bhi wohi road hai it's actually the boundary of kashi panchakosha kashi kshetra so lord shiva and parvati devi appeared there uh, at that spot where the present manikarnika is and uh, lord shiva told that i'll never leave this place that's why this place is called abhimukta kshetra when uh, lord shiva is permanently residing and lord shiva glanced nearby and uh, lord vishnu appeared and lord vishnu with his sudarshan chakra he dug a very big pond and uh, that pond was called uh, chakra pushkarani teerth and uh, lord vishnu filled the pond with his uh, perspiration sweat and uh, lord shiva's jewel from his ear tops they fell inside that uh, teerth chakra pushkarani teerth so it came to be known as manikarnika that is the uh, appearance of manikarnika teerth and regarding that uh, sati devi lord shiva was dancing with her body on his shoulders and um, left alone it would have created havoc in the entire universe so uh, lord vishnu cut the pieces of uh, body pieces into several pieces by his uh, sudarshan chakra and uh, the various parts of body of uh, sati devi fell fell down in various places all over india and nearby so where all these parts fell each place uh, developed into a shaktipeet temple devi temple so the spot where the ear ear lobes and the uh, mani of uh, jewel of uh, devi sati fell that is the kashi vishalakshi devi shaktipeet so that is among the one of the 52 shaktipeets in kashi uh, that is the vishalakshi devi this is about 2 kilometers uh, or 1 and 1/2 kilometers away from the chakra pushkarni teerth of manikarnika okay sir sorry can you repeat the last part please the last part is the first uh, the manikarnika chakra pushkarni teerth is clear now after right. the mahapralaya lord shiva appeared there and when sati devi was uh, carried by lord shiva due to his anger uh, on his shoulders and he was uh, traveling all all over the place with his uh, anger uh, angry mind and uh, lord vishnu thought if this is left alone uh, it would create havoc in the world so he cut the pieces of uh, body of sati devi into several parts and with his uh, sudarshan chakra so various parts of her body fell in various places and at each place uh, one sh- shakti peet developed so the ear lobe portion with the uh, jewel in the ear kankabali that of the sati devi fell in a place in kashi which uh, from which appeared the shakti peeth of vishalakshi devi so the kashi vishalakshi devi temple has is that place where the ear lobe and the uh, kankabali of uh, sati devi fell okay one quick question uh, hmm. Hmm. suppose somebody cannot make it to kashi cannot do the online puja with us or with others whatever okay. what can he or she in a very simple manner usually when we think of rituals you mm. know the rituals are tiring especially for the new aspirants mm. not a sadhak you know a normal grahastha ashram guy mm. you know what can he do uh, as per you what he can he do sitting at home okay sitting at home suppose yeah suppose he has got a small shivling at his house see there are two uh, uh, variables one is he has got a shivling one is he doesn't have any shivling at all okay 
So if he has got a small shivling at his house, he can get some uh, plain water or plain cow's milk and do the Abhishekam and offer a willow patra for the shivling. Willow patra we will get from the market also or any uh, flowers. And he can recite that Rudra Gayatri. Rudra Gayatri I have shared, you, uh, shared with you in this WhatsApp. You can share in the common group also. And uh, he can recite that as many times as possible, say 108 times, even, even both, more than that. Suppose the entire family is sitting, so they can collectively recite that Rudra Gayatri. And if the person knows Rudram, he can recite Rudram. If he doesn't know Rudram, he can recite Rudra Gayatri. It's only two line mantra. If he cannot do that also, he can just chant Om Namah Shivaya. Uh, that is a very powerful mantra as per Linga Puran. So these three he can do. And uh, the, those people who do not have Shivalingam also in their house, they can have the photo of Lord Shiva. They don't have the photo of Lord Shiva. They can just download the photo in their uh, smartphones, keep it on, and uh, do the uh, Japam of Rudra Gayatri. Okay. So, hmm. what time to what time would be the most powerful time to do Rudra Gayatri? So for this uh, particular uh, Mahashivaratri on the 18th, you can start right from 5.30 in the evening. Because there is Pradosham also is there and uh, Mahashivaratri also there. So, you can start from 5.30. If you cannot start at 5.30, you can start at 8.30 also or 9 also. And if a person is able to remain awake whole night, nothing like it. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, I would uh, suggest the simplest and easiest hmm. is even for foreigners or people hmm. who do not know Sanskrit, hmm. you know, you can easily get on, on YouTube Rudra Gayatri. Am mm. I right, sir? Yeah, yeah. They can at least listen, they can at least listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Is what I'm... Mm. Rudra Gayatri, you can find in YouTube and I have sent the mantra to, uh, also. Uh, suggest, so, yeah. yeah. Eight times. That would have a good effect, Vinayak. And, uh, 108 times will be yes, ideal. If you can do more, nothing like it. Okay. Uh, would any of you have that photograph of Rudra Gayatri or can mention it. You know, I'm trying to search my WhatsApp as we speak. I am not getting it right now. Handy to share it on screen. You know, but uh, definitely if you wow, people can just Google Rudra Gayatri, you all will get it. You know, now uh, just quick uh, one question. Okay, as you said about uh, Is this uh, Rudra Gayatri Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodayat? Exactly. Okay. Shall I, shall, I, shall I recite uh, in the proper yes. pronunciation? You can just listen that's to it. The, that's the thing. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodaya At. This is a normal pronunciation. And those who cannot do normal also, you can just recite it as their as per their convenience. Can I request you to once again uh, recite it mm. so that you can cut it and multiply it 108 times? Okay. Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodaya At. Is it clear? Audio went a bit, audio went a bit up and down in the recording, internet issue. Can I ask you to repeat? Can I request you to repeat once again, please? Uh, you, you are making me earning more punya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a minute. Huh? Are you ready? Yeah. Om. Uh, oh. Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodaya At. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I've also shared just for the audience the Rudra Gayatri. Okay. As you mentioned, Sri Kriti Vasheshwara Mahadev Temple. Mm -hmm. Any other rare temple that most people miss out on? Omkareshwar. Omkaresh is a part of the uh, Dosa Jyotirlinga Yatra and uh, Omkareshwar it's considered to be so powerful 
by worshipping just uh, one shivling that is omkareshwar in kashi people get the benefit of worshipping uh, all the links in the entire world so omkareshwar is considered to be very powerful and uh, this uh, forms a part of the dwadash okay. jyotirling okay okay great my my request uh, um has been and i i would like to voice here so that other astrologers who are very good at muhurta shastra i am looking for specific shlokas they can i would request people to write to me at saptarishi's astrology 108 at gmail.com and uh, i am looking for specific shlokas in muhurta shastra and i would also uh, request the legendary astrologer uh vk shridhar ji to write an article on it and uh, that is which are the good muhurtas which we should see you know the astrological part like no malefics or no planets in the 8th house what should be there in the 9th house or ex- what planets in the 5th house or whatever is the combinations when we do the pujas and there are more uh, benefits accrued by worshipping lord shiva during that time vinayak if you have anything to add to it venkatraman ji astrological point of view you can you know otherwise this is my request to the astrological community means why do we have muhurtas we have muhurtas so that whatever we are doing should face success as much as possible i mean you know so anything vinayak yes. or venkatraman yes sir this time also i think you know our upcoming issue of magazine uh, vk shridhar ji wrote an article Murutas of prayer. I think everybody should read that article. That is already uh, live in our website. Okay, so that uh, yeah, saptarishiastrology dot com. So that article also covers some uh, aspects of this question. And also, uh, I think in Murut we have a Shiva Murut also, but it's given by Lord Shiva himself. So he has some set of rules for the whole day. For the whole day, uh, we can select a specific Murut. So praising Lord Shiva also. Really? So there, so there is a method uh, for it. So maybe we can make one video or some article on it. We can please. Post. I mean, immediately कर दो ना. Yeah. I mean, I I I would request you. You know, since I have the excuse of being out of town from tomorrow morning seven o'clock. So आपको गजब मुझे निकलने को मैं बोल रहा हूँ. So I would request you to. Uh, I know you're busy today evening. Also you're busy. Or uh, you're starting some lecture. I just saw that. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a webinar. and right. like this uh, we have also braspati muhurat also in braspati samhita uh, there is a complete chapter on it like if we don't know much technicalities of muhurat and all these things na so braspati rishi himself given uh, systematic approach to select muhurat and very easy one the ready made tables we have ready made table for it so we can just uh, see the table and we can get a muhurat there's yeah. another way of it Oh, no no now i'm not going to have lunch or okay? <laughs> okay i was planning to do cooking also then that's not going to happen till after this video you send me on my whatsapp bahut brihaspati mohurta yes, that, and... that that brihaspati thing i can send you because i have already uh, i am preparing that for article okay but that shiv mohurta i need some time because i am not remembering where where i have seen that so i will search it but but the brihaspati thing i can send you maybe in next yeah, one hour at least do a video on it before or uh, 18th of february so that those who are missing up you know if you can yeah venkatraman ji sunil ji on this topic uh, uh, you did a very good initiative about this articles because uh, i wrote an email to uh, vinay ji also uh, i am uh, writing a series of uh, articles on grah doshams because they are more relevant today because people face some problems because of grah doshams obviously so i have written only about uh, one gra dosham that is uh, mangalik dosh mangalik. so in the next series will be kalsar dosh and various nadi dosh and all that because uh, uh, we have to ch- slightly change the negativities as per the modern day aspects suppose uh, some gra dosham says health will be very bad uh, the present day modern uh, medical equipment and uh, advancement of science and technology we have to slightly uh, relook revisit all those things also and uh, uh, when the my article comes out so if people have some dosham in their horoscope if they are visiting kashi it will uh, benefit them also 
so once right. uh, once it is published in your esteemed magazine uh, that will remain in that magazine for people to access in uh, future days also so what you are doing is a very great service for humanity so i am thankful to you i wish to place on record my sincere thanks to you on that dr you manglik manglik those article is already live on our website Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is so if there. If anybody want to read, uh, they can mm. visit our website. So, so I'll be sending my next uh, article very shortly because now I'm in Bombay, and uh, Sunil ji might be wondering, "Are you going to have a function in Kashi? Me or I? Why Nikhilram ji is not in Kashi? I have come here to attend two marriages. So uh, on the 18th of Feb, I may be doing one Rudra Bishnu myself in uh, Bombay. Some people have requested me, so I'll be uh, acting like a. <laughs> Head Pandit Ji here. <laughs> you know, I'm going to miss that because I, yeah, uh, I met Mr. Venkat Raman few days back, uh, and uh, he was kind enough to come to my house here in Dombi Valley, and uh, he was also staying in Dombi Valley. Yeah, uh, you still in Dombi Valley, sir? Or no, no, I am uh, come to Goringa. Goringa is my main main place of stay. I come okay. to Dombi Valley for the specific purpose of taking care of the marriage functions and all that. Right. So I'm back in Goringa. So at that time we discussed uh, uh, this money karne ka ghat and mm-hmm. the grant, and all of a sudden we made up this uh, this thing, you know, so that everybody can benefit. Because I personally, you know, have a wish, you know, that uh, I have been very lucky and blessed that I have uh, done the South India tour of uh, Lord Shiva temples, you know. and especially what the shankaracharya has mentioned a lot of tamilians would know it you know is sapta vidangal and uh, sapta swati or temples one is for uh, moksha it's seven temples in one day in a particular order you know so i've done it two three times so the mahapariyar uh, he has said that once in lifetime is this is to be done and many people try they come from abroad they book in advance the trip and they are not able to complete and even i was so lucky just 5 minutes if i i would have been delayed the door would have been closed the last temple you know and it's very difficult because all are in the interiors you know you can just google there's one beautiful post by a famous journalist you know so he uh, you know uh, has written a very very uh, this thing that uh, <clears throat> oh why it is important how it has to be done the order of it etc you can google it you'll get it sapta vidangam and sapta sati okay these are seven these things anyway so rudra gayatri is what you are supposed to do and then in future we will be organizing omkareshwar uh, puja hopefully on a shivratri or whatever i will uh, discuss it with the venkat raman ji which one is the best mohurt he selects and also the i'm very excited about uh, the shri kriti vasheshwar mahadev temple you know so i wish i i had known uh, you know i had done all these things uh, with venkat raman ji when i was in kashi with him we did few things uh, we did go to the devi shakti peeths am i right uh, yeah yes yes and uh, you took me to one rare temple the which opens only once in a year which was that temple it's from moksha or something i'm forgetting or seven generations of your uh, pitrus you're taken me to one temple which opens only once a year and you can see the thing from the top of that, the that is, uh, it is in jali mera khau pita maheshwar the tem- uh, shivling name is known as pita maheshwar if you do the puja it is uh, from the top you can have darshan throughout the year uh, uh, 24 by 7 Uh, but uh, downstairs where the actual lingam is situated in that room you can go only once in a year on the mahashivratri day and if you do the puja of that shivling you release 21 generations of your forefathers normally we do the pitrkarya we give uh, liberation to only three generations father grandfather and great grandfather but doing puja of the shivling you will release 21 generations above you what kind of puja is to be done at this you can time? do any puja shivratri rudra gayatri japam vilupatra rachana or any puja as per your choice okay so only uh, it is allowed only on mahashivratri day and we have requ- we have requested them to open at least once in a month because so many devotees are coming after reading our website and after seeing our youtube videos so many devotees are coming 
so uh, it may be too crowded if they allow only on i told them very specifically if you allow only on one day it will be too crowded and very difficult to handle because you have to go go below the ground level uh, oh, just, yeah. uh, two two uh, stairs two steps of stairs you have to go down so it will be very difficult very narrow also people going oh, yeah. down and coming yeah. up we were taking the mobile uh, camera uh, camera flash light ंग That's nice. That's nice. you can speak to them again. Yeah, yeah. We we are on the job. We are. You know, that would be nice. Reminding because, them. Because uh, I'll uh, let you know one more thing. Uh, there is one Varahi Devi Temple. Previously, it used to open only till seven uh, thirty in the morning. For full day, it should be it used to be closed. Now, after several requests, now they have started uh, keeping it open till nine thirty in the morning at least. There's so many devotees are coming. It's very difficult for them. So, in due course, they may open it up to up to ten o'clock also. What's so, the great place of uh, the temple? The Varahi Devi Temple. Uh, uh, Vara Varaha is the boar, B O A R boar, that uh, jungle pig, and Varahi is the female form of uh, uh, that uh, boar. And uh, Varahi is one of the Saptamatrikas, the very powerful devis. They are able to. They are so powerful that they even bring back dead persons alive. So the devi is so powerful, you cannot see her face to face. so that temple the deity is located one uh, floor below you can have darshan only from the top nobody is allowed to go below the ground level so that devi generally people worship the devi before going for any war and other uh, battlefield and all that nowadays uh, it is considered good for this uh, uh, competition and uh, you are facing some elections and all that so people worship that devi and go for that and they get success also and uh, so nil ji one thing i want to add if you if your uh, scheme permits so there are so many people who are participating in this zoom meet if they want to ask any queries about kashi they are welcome it's up to you yes, yes. we uh, we would be doing that can we do that now um, vinayak yes sir if anybody wants any question and to ask any question they can unmute and please come on camera and ask at least that much of uh, courtesy we must show to the host and uh, yes. the guest speak anybody has any questions yes uh, namaskaram i wanted to ask if you want to book this uh, rudra bishek which you mentioned um, how do we give the family members name and the uh, Um, no, no. Chatras, they are born in. No, when I can best answer this, yeah. it is uh, the sankalp would be live. So you have to do the sankalp. When I you better you answer it. Yeah, Mohini ji. So see, there is uh, when you book for this uh, puja. Okay, so there we have an option to put your details. Okay, so you can post your name, okay. your uh, Rashi Nakshatra, and your family names, family member name. Okay. So now there are two things. If you want to participate in sankalpa yourself, okay, live, okay, so you will receive. Your voice name. is breaking, sir. Am I not audible? Hello. Yeah, Mohini ji, can you? Yeah, yeah, now. Hmm. But the screen is still. And uh, now, now it's okay now. I think uh, there is some internet issue from your side. Okay, so I will repeat it. Okay, so what I'm saying is there are two processes. Okay, if you want to attend uh, Sankalpa live, okay, we will send you Zoom link. Okay, so uh, Pandit Ji will do Sankalpa and he will ask your uh, Nakshatra, Gotra, and everything. Okay, so you have to pronounce it yourself live in video. Okay, that will be live Sankalpa. Or let's say if you are not able to participate in live Sankalpa, okay, so when you are booking for this puja, na, at that time we will ask you. Uh, your name, Rashi, Nakshatra, Gotra, and your family member name. You can just put it. Okay, so Pandit Ji will do sankalpa from your side. But you, if you are not able to, then yeah. But you got to be sure about it. Then only those names of people who are unable to do the sankalpa at three thirty. Okay, because they are abroad or different time zones. 
only those names pandit ji himself will do it you know so uh, but if you are able to do it that's obviously uh, better you know mm-hmm. because your family members can be present together you know and together they can the zoom link will be sent that same zoom link suppose your one family mem- member is in another place so you can send them the zoom link you know mm-hmm. so you can share moini ji are you able to yeah. understand yeah suppose you another family member is in a different city yeah. or in okay. the same city also in another place you know okay so you the zoom link that will be sent to you you can yourself mm-hmm. to your family friend uh, member okay can uh, in a family can two people will have a different uh, the gotras required or the nakshatras yes gotra is very much gotra okay if one doesn't gotra. remember or know the gotra then what to do then and i think it is kashyap gotra am i right uh, when i can shiv gotra in kashi it is shiv gotra shiv gotra hmm. okay if we do not remember then we can say shiv gotra shiv gotra yes okay like, and so for everybody we can say that yes yes yes, yes. yeah okay okay so many don't worry we can worry. have three uh, members in a family or we have to pay for one one or three can pay one only 2500 okay. you can 10 members Okay. 20 okay. doesn't matter. I mean, jitna log ka bhala ho, we are more than happy. You know. Okay. Yeah. Only you have to know the name and the gotra and the nakshatra. That's it. That's yes. it. Okay. Okay. So, when uh, the office office will call you. Okay, and they will also explain yeah. you. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you got Thank to you keep so much. on checking your spam mail. Keep on checking your spam mail. Sometimes the mail goes in. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. Good, you told Please me that. Thank you. Because what happens at that particular moment, you know, everybody calls the office, and the office goes mad. Okay. You know, because we also want our office staff also to do the sankalpa. Yeah, know? that's right. That's right. So, I wanted our... to ask uh, Venkat Raman ji, uh, mm-hmm. like you know, yesterday I had put up a question because I had missed the live meeting which you had uh, for the Rudra Bishak. how it is to be performed if you want to do it uh, for certain uh, um, remedies uh, i had asked uh, in the ch- uh, comments if one has got mandi in the um, 4812 in the jala tatva rashi uh, one can one do rudra abhishek uh, is it uh, just to be madam uh, yes, yes sir yes. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, uh, they, they can do it in Chandreshwar Shivling. The Shivling is installed by Lord Chandra. There is one uh, Chandra Coop nearby. The well dug by uh, uh, Lord Ch- Chandreshwar. The okay. Sh- Shivling Where? Shivling is installed by Lord Chandra. It is in Manikarnika Kshetra, and there is one okay, uh, okay. there is one uh, well dug by Lord Chandra, known as Chandra Coop. So okay. they, with that uh, gel of that Chandra Coop. If the yeah. draw bishak is performed for Chandreshwar, it will be very effective. And incidentally, okay. uh, Sunil ji, one of the devotees, uh, that Pandit ji of the temple requested us that uh-huh. uh, the well is so deep; it's uh, he is also getting older. So to draw the water, it's becoming a water difficult. is difficult. Uh, so okay. he requested us. So one of the devotees who is following us, he was kind enough to donate one submersible pump for that uh, well. So oh, the the water oh, is nice. now uh, the water okay. is now drawn. No, but one if one has a small shivling, yeah, if one a, has a small shivling at home, ah uh, yeah, can you do the abhishekam in the house? Yeah, yeah, you can do, you can do. If uh, Monday, you should do. You Monday, can do Monday, Monday. Even more. if the Monday is in the Jal Tatrashi. Yeah, yeah, you should you should do on Monday morning after sunrise okay. within within one hour after sunrise. If the sunrise is at six o'clock, you should do that between okay. s- between six and seven. Within one hour. Yeah. Okay. Because the sunrise, okay. the times keep on changing. Thank you, sir. So I cannot uh, prescribe yeah. the exact time. No, the times keep on changing during winter. It may be a bit late. So uh, you can check up the sunrise time and uh, within, right. uh, within one hour. Any other? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Pooji. Thank you, Pooji, for your. excellent question it has definitely it will help everybody anybody else has any question or vinayak if you want to add something so the process of booking for puja can I explain in hindi also so maybe uh, oh, nice. this video will be on uh, youtube na so 
in the audience right. can also get benefit right uh, so can you share me that, that screen uh, to yeah i do that right मैं इसको हिंदी में भी रिपीट कर देता हूँ ओके तो एटीन ऑफ फेब्रुवरी महाशिवरात्रि इस बार हम लोग वाराणसी में करने जा रहे हैं तो रुद्राभिषेक किया जाएगा सात वाराणसी पंडित के थ्रू ठीक है तो इसमें जो भी पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहे दक्षिणा ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज दक्षिणा है फॉर होल फैमिली ठीक है तो अभी इसमें दो प्रोसेस है अगर आप संकल्प के टाइम पे अवेलेबल है जो कि साढ़े तीन बजे से दोपहर में स्टार्ट होगा ठीक है जूम लिंक आपको बुकिंग के टाइम पे आपको जूम लिंक वगैरह सब आपको मिल जाएगा तो अगर साढ़े तीन बजे आप लोग आ पाते हैं जूम पे लाइव कनेक्ट हो पाते हैं तो पंडित जी उस टाइम पे वहां संकल्प करेंगे ठीक है और वो संकल्प मंत्र पूरा वो बोलेंगे आपको हम संकल्प का मंत्र हम खुद भी भेजेंगे मेल पे ठीक है अगर आप खुद भी प्रोनाउंस करके आप चैंट कर पाते हैं इट्स गुड अदरवाइज पंडित जी वहां करेंगे और जब पंडित जी बोलेंगे कि आपको अपना राशि नक्षत्र गोत्र बोलना है नाम बोलना है तो उस टाइम पे आप लोग वहां पे प्रोनाउंस करेंगे ठीक है तो इसमें आप लोग को रहना पड़ेगा वहां पर संकल्प के टाइम पे संकल्प के बाद उसके बाद वहां पर पूजा अराउंड साढ़े बजे के आसपास वहां पूजा स्टार्ट होगी मंदिर में मंदिर में वहां पर वीडियोग्राफी या लाइव टेलीकास्ट करने का ऑप्शन नहीं है मंदिर परमिशन शायद ना दे इसलिए वो शायद हम नहीं कर बट बीच में हम लोग वीडियोस आपको अपलोड करेंगे हम लोग पूजा का अगर पॉसिबल हुआ तो बट संकल्प एटलीस्ट हम लोग करा सकते हैं लाइव बट किसी वजह से अगर आप संकल्प में नहीं आ पाते हैं तो आपको ऑफिस को पहले ही बताना पड़ेगा इन एडवांस इन एडवांस इसलिए जब भी आप बुकिंग करें उसी टाइम पे आप पहले से माइंड मेकअप करके हमको पहले ही बताइएगा कि आप उस टाइम नहीं दे पाएंगे ताकि हम लोग उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम अरेंजमेंट कर पाए अगर आप लोग नहीं अवेलेबल होते हैं संकल्प के लिए तो पंडित जी संकल्प करेंगे खुद से विनायक सर इन केस यू लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू बी देयर एट द टाइम ऑफ संकल्प बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट इट हैपन फ्यू टाइम इन आवर मीटिंग Uh, to keep that in mind, keeping that hmm. in mind, can one give the details to you in advance in case you don't see us in the uh, wo, meeting? वो वो दे सकते हैं, but बहुत बार क्या होता है लोग डिटेल भी दे देते हैं आप खुद भी आते हैं इसमें actually हमें क्या problem होती है पंडित जी के पास संकल्प दो तीन लोगों का नहीं होगा अब समझ पा रहे जिससे मान लिया तो सौ लोग आ गए सौ लोगों ने संकल्प के लिए डिटेल पंडित जी को भी दे दी और खुद भी आ गए अब सौ लोगों okay. का संकल्प पंडित जी को करना इट विल टेक टाइम और थ्री फोर आवर्स तो संकल्प नहीं लग जाना है तो इसीलिए हम okay. उसको अवॉइड करना चाह रहे थे कि जो लोग आ पाते हैं इट्स गुड बट अगर आपके साथ ऐसा होता है कि एंड मोमेंट कोई टेक्निकल डिफिकल्टीज ऐसा कुछ आपको फेस करना पड़ा जी आ दीजिएगा वी कैन डू समथिंग और दूसरा चीज के थ्री थर्टी संकल्प टाइम इज देर उस समय से कितने समय तक मतलब हमको वहां पर प्रेजेंट रहना है जब तक वो वन आवर एक घंटा एक घंटा उस ओके okay. उसके बाद में इट इज नॉट वीडियो या इट विल बी नॉट ऑन जूम सो नाउ यू कैन डू योर ओन वर्क और यू कैन डू सम मेडिटेशन और एनी मंत्र चैंटिंग एट योर होम सो फ्रॉम 3:30 टू 4:30 हां दैट्स इन द आफ्टरनून वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट यस आफ्टरनून ओके है ना क्योंकि आप समझ सकते हैं कि उस दिन महाशिवरात्रि के दिन में भीड़ भाड़ ज्यादा रहेगा तो अगर हम लाइव अगर लाइव करने का ऑप्शन भी मिला हमको मंदिर के अंदर ना तो वो एक तो साउंड क्वालिटी शायद ना मिल पाए हमें क्योंकि वो थोड़ा कंजेस्टेड जगह है ऊपर से नेटवर्क का वहाँ फैसिलिटी कैसा है कुछ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन उस टाइम पे अलाउ भी नहीं करेगा इसके लिए जी 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 ओके बट स्टिल वी विल ट्राई आवर बेस्ट टू डू ओके ओके और एटलीस्ट अंकल के लिए हम कितना हम दे सकते हैं तो उसके लिए आप प्रिपेयर रहेंगे जी ठीक थैंक यू थैंक यू मनोज you know when day before when i was doing this session with sunil kaushik ji and uh, at that time i had mentioned that i have read somewhere if there is shani pradosh on a shivratri this is the best day to pray to lord shiva and parvati ma to help yeah. in giving and read it specifically in one of the websites you know of course Uh, others would have more uh, refined opinion on this 
but uh, i look at it this way it is a saturday it is shani pradosh day so it once or you know rarely it comes and at the same time it is mahashivratri and if you can do like for example you are participating uh, this thing but at home even if you are not participating in this puja at home at least do rudra gayatri you know which venkatraman ji has given me shared it on screen or you can google and what i would suggest is thoda advance mein do char din pehle se uska exact pronunciation ghar mein wo vibrations 108 time aap karte jaiye you know koi audio clip play kar diya just play an audio clip okay and uh, so just play that and so that you are well in advance it's like appearing for an exam you know aapne preparation kiya preparation pre preparation you have done that and then on that day 5:30 to 7:30 do it you know rudra gayatri how many times you can do it in multiples of 108 you know i think that's about it if uh, anything we have missed they can quickly come on screen and ask or anything that when uh, vinayak or venkatraman ji wants to add before we end the session you know i would suggest uh, uh, we do it. vinayak ji you can uh, share my whatsapp number So if they pe- people have some, uh, I can even uh, tell it now nine eight three nine zero six double one seven eight. Can you repeat it just in case somebody missed it? Nine eight three nine zero. Six double one seven eight. If any of our esteemed members have any doubts, even of of some other doubts also, in addition to this Mahashivratri, they can free feel free in texting me in this WhatsApp number. I'll try to revert back ASAP. All right, that sounds good. I'm happy. Now I would want people. to take this shivratri very seriously it is shani pradosh plus this thing and it i'm quite sure it will benefit all of you all where your saturn is sitting or the houses it lords from your lagna and also from a lagna that nobody uses in astrology that is called shani lagna so wherever saturn is sitting in your horoscope see which houses saturn owns so that means in my case my saturn is in taurus lagna so i would see that saturn is owning my ninth house and 10th house and it becomes yoga karak can i request people to mute themselves please and if you have time and if you understand astrology then go to nomanch see where saturn is sitting and see where or oh sorry which houses saturn owns if you are very in depth you want to go then go to your d20 chart varga chart if you know how to see it or any software will show you your d20 chart and which houses saturn sits so prayers will help releasing those energies in a beneficial manner anyway thank you so much venkatraman ji it's a pleasure having you on our youtube channel after a very very long time really grateful to you and i hope this journey of kashi continues and we keep on visiting kashi at least once a year or once in two years or whatever you know thank you so much thank you vinayak ji thank you venkatraman ji thank you sir thank you